thing to say right there? Are you ready to go live? Uh, Are you talking about the top one or what? And the top little. And 12 uh, hours, StreamYard will lose access to your Facebook account. I got account. to fuck them. Yeah, we're good. We don't need that. Make Thank you, StreamYard. No, no, we got it. We'll get it. What's up, Tyler, It'll happen. Scotty, and Sonia? It'll and happen. Willie, it could Stella, happen. And Joe Rowe. Not Joe Blow, but Joe Rowe. Joe Rowe. Joe Rowe. We are Waffle in, waffle out, talking real life shit in. Waffle house bullying, what's that about? We nerds out here figuring shit out. Oh, we got a flip to that. All right. Hello. Well, I'm here. Half hour to get all this shit. switching the phones up on me and shit. Tonight. No one did not. Have to, just my case broke, so I didn't think that you want me to send you with a bus. Oh, like that I, case I, would I, make I, it all fucked up. Well, what's up, everybody? You know what's what up, going what up? on. It's, it's uh, waffling out. So waffling out without waffles because nobody will donate. Yeah, we're we're challenging everybody. They think waffles yeah, and frozen TikTok. pizza don't cost no fucking money, but it costs money. G. I'm we're, joking. We're challenging everybody over here on Tickety Talk. One dollar. One dollar. We'll see what happens. Yeah, if, if Cash App could, would let you send less, you could send less. But Cash App will not We're let you send. asking for one dollar. Will, will not let and one literally. One dollar. Pac Man, Robert, Yo. We gotta have more than like, like bare minimum fifty. There gotta be more than fifty people watching us between like that fifty bucks. Like, oh, like there's, fifty bucks. Right now, there's like over two hundred people here just a second ago on Ticket to Talk. Yeah, but that yeah. was. I mean, this one's, you gotta be showing yeah. your, you gotta be showing your your, your junk online to be I gotta be like play. you know like maybe hold, holding my chest. We gotta be super sweater. fucking funny to get any type of play on fucking TikTok or YouTube or. Man, just gotta stand there and just like, oh. wiggle. Not gonna touch it because usually I like put like my fat handprints all over that. Bitch. Now you just took it down, so. Well, no, it's I, I, I cut it out anyway. So we got one handprint. It's there. Like I cut like you yours did I cut you out completely. Like you didn't get to put a handprint on last week. Oh damn. I'm the only one that got a handprint. But you're they already did the handprint. Nobody you you did the handprint and nobody like you didn't say anything when you did it. It was just like a, a silent thing. Yeah, because if a tree know. falls in the forest and nobody's around this shit. So Yo hand. wants to know what's up with the one dollar donation. All right, yo. So we'll make I'll I'll go ahead and explain this real quick for everybody. About so this, you could order our food for us. So we we come to Waffle House every every Wednesday, right, to provide you guys with some great content. And well, we were challenging everybody who's watching us, our supporters, to just donate one dollar. And we're just doing it as a social experiment for one to see how many people actually are, are like watching us and paying attention to what we do. Well, that's on the cheesesteak for patty milk thing, like in a bowl. Like, what, what's it for that? I did, is there like some Philly meat back there? Like, some, oh, okay, dope. I'm about to get that sometime, but I'm about to take so much shit out of it. Like, I don't want the peppers and the onions. I just want meat, cheese. Oh, is it that yellow cheese on top of it? Yeah. No, nah, okay, then never mind. See, I'm so bad at doing it. If I bring my own white, like, provolone type cheese right here, we all have to. Up with it. Oh, maybe D, but, but not Devante. Yeah, well, no, I'm not saying we definitely wait for D to be here. Devante does not like Devante might do it for me. Devante likes me. He just doesn't like it. Just, like just rubbing the wrong way. Our, our content, bro, like you're watching right now, yo. Like, Let's talk this, this this is the content, bro, we talk about And guess like, what? Like, you wouldn't get all this content. This is the night of supreme content because we're not eating. See, like, the, peop- the people, like, over there who have been watching this, like, way, way, way over there well, maybe, on, on that camera, they know what's up. Well, let's start, let's start talking about our topic for tonight. Maybe that'll be good enough content. I don't know. What is our topic of the night? Well, hold on. Bob's Boop 2. Free movies available on YouTube. We have Free a playlist. If you're watching on us YouTube. on YouTube, you can just find us right there. If you look at our links, there's a link to our YouTube from here. So, so you know, there's another Bob right here that just joined. What's up, Bob? What's up, Bob we and Rob? We don't technically have a Bob. Hey, but isn't Bob and Rob basically the same? Because isn't Bob short for Rob? Uh, I think Robert's the start of all that. And that's, yeah. that's the worst part, dude. But this is this like the, Ricky. What's up, Ricky? Artie? This, this, all right, a little backstory on on Bob. All right, Bob Shoot. is an ex created it, and an ex 
like I used to wonder is she'd say, oh, Bobby, because Bob or Bobby is the whitest name any dude can have. I used to, I would tell her, like, oh, look, I don't, you can call me whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But my dad's name was Robert, so I really don't like it when you call me Bobby because my dad was a big piece of crap. So I'm kind of just like, oh, Bobby. I'm like, okay, you're so lucky that we're, okay. All right, fine. Oh, Bobby, whatever. I don't give a crap. Then I, I years later, I needed someone to make. I was like, hey, can you just make me, like, a Facebook and a couple of Gmails and stuff? And she put it as Bob's boob tube or Bob's, Bob's product. Like, why don't you make it Bob's? I was like, well, you're Bob and your product is your podcast. Like, uh, I hate that, but I like it. So then I just leaned into it. We are Bob's product. We got the chant, Bob's boob tube. It all kind of flows together. And my dad's dead now. So it's kind of like a, 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 a fuck you. Like an o, like a I'm going to make Bob bigger than life, bro. And but the picture of Bob is my grandfather. So it's kind of like, yo, bro, I don't know. It just makes me feel a little bit happy. Anyway, so Bob's Boop Tube, we're talking about the free movies that are available on YouTube. Free movies. If you're broke, like obviously we, we are, are tonight. tonight, we'll be watching some free shit on YouTube. Jeez. This is, we're going to start with my, we got 15 here. We're going to start with my top five. Top five. If you've seen them, tell me what you, tell me your synopsis is of them. Is this in any order or is this like starting uh, number five? No, nah, this is really Yeah, good. number anyway. five. Uh, well, okay, no, number no, five. no, 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 number, number, yeah, okay, number five. Number five. My sleeper hit on my, uh, on my top five, Blind Dating. You, you've never seen this one. I'm positive you've never seen this one. No, I don't Blind think so. Dating is starring Chris Pine, Captain Kirk. Looks, it's, it looks like a rom-com. When you're passing up, like, I swear you're gonna look like Blind Dating, Mr. Chris Pine. Oh, I so don't want to watch this shit. Blind Dating, the dude's actually blind. Every chick wants to have sex with him because he's Chris Pine looking dude. But he's like, none of these women really like me or know me. If I wasn't like a hot dude, they wouldn't want to be with this blind loser guy. It's actually a pretty damn good movie. And it's free on YouTube right now. There's something like that one movie um, with Robert De Niro, Son of a Woman. Oh, that's a, that's a, a Pacino, bro. Whatever. I'm just saying. Kind of, but. But like, okay, but it's looking like it's it's looking like Al Pacino and granted Al Pacino, whatever, but it puts to looking like Captain Kirk, Green Lantern, Chris Pine. I mean, that dude, that dude, women are just falling over in front of that dude, blind or not. That dude could be crawling in and women would still love it. I'm just saying it's pretty it's a pretty good movie for being free and not knowing nothing about it. And hey, real quick, so what's up to Sandra Paxton, Michael, Carolyn, Latch and Donald Damp Donerson? Donald Damn Donerson? Yeah, Donald Donerson. That's close to Dahmer, bro. Like that. Donald Derson. Donald Derson. All right. Uh, That name, that that name's harsh, bro. Well, that's his name, not mine. Number four on the list: Gone Fishing. You ever seen Gone Fishing? I think I have. Joe Pesci, Danny Glover. What do you remember of it? That was just Danny Glover and Joe Pesci. It's it's a really bad movie. It's a terrible movie. That's but, why. That's why this movie was free. I remember. I remember like seeing it at the video store and being like, "Oh shit, Joe Pesci and Danny Glover, they're great. Those are two amazing people. Oh, they were in Lethal Weapon. This is gonna be great. Oh my god, it is literally one of the worst movies ever. Ever. And I remember like I remember them. This is where I remember from it. Joe Pesci. Every time something good would happen. But there's some they think some they go straight lamping and like do a high five. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I they've said it since they were kids. That will live in my head forever. And I will never like post that anywhere because nobody deserves that. But you should yeah, no, no, fuck it. They they deserve it. I want everybody I'll to watch it. This. I'll give it five minutes. Danny Glover, Joe Pesci. It, I'll give it five minutes. The first five minutes you might it, I'm telling you, the first five minutes you'll be like, this might actually work out. Then you get past it. Like, oh shit, this is going terribly wrong. So like, I'll give it five minutes. And what I think I love about it is I love the thought of like Danny Glover and Joe Pesci like reading this and be like, Okay, we're we're doing this, guys. Like they had to be they had to be in the lock for like this somehow, some way. Uh number three on the list, um Drill Bit Taylor. No, never heard of that one. Never heard of Dr- Drill Bit Taylor? It's starring Owen Wilson. It's got the uh he, he was fat at that time, but the kid from uh, the Goldbergs, like the older brother. Yeah. 
we got him and he, he drops a rap in it, like pretty tight little rap in it. But it's actually very fucking good. Uh, Owen Wilson, uh, what's that guy that's in the uh, Eastbound and Down? Uh, what's his name? He's uh, in Pineapple Express. Uh, I'll think of it later and I'm saying it right now. It'll pop in my head at some point because it won't pop out of my head. You guys know who this guy you is. You guys know who he is. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all know him. But Drip what's Taylor, up, Kathy Sherry? Uh, Kathy. Owen, uh, but, uh, I think it was done by like Judd Apatow. I think he produced it like the, right after the He produced lots first. of movies. Yeah, but I think yeah, it was like this was actually pretty good. What's up, Ruthie the Fourth? Number two on the list. Anybody else we need to say what's up to? I'm just going to be No, I'm no, I'm no, you're good. I'm asking. Yeah. Me, myself, and Irene. That was a good one. I kinda like that one. I love I love Jim uh, Carrey is hilarious. He's hilarious. I love his black sons in it. I love his sons They're like Daddy. I like, know this motherfucker's getting on my nerves, Daddy. And like his dad and, and Jim Carrey's like, I have to go bust the cap. But I just love I just love the interaction between Jim Carrey and uh, I can't Those think kids. of his name either. No, the guy that then mixed this or uh, no, uh, Blackish now. Forget his name. I'm drawing a black shirt with the name. And then my number one movie though, Toy Soldiers. 80s kids, you remember this yes. movie? Yes. Uh, terrorists try to take over the school. Yeah. Kids fight back, guns shooting off. You don't have a chance in hell of seeing this movie. I'm surprised that's available for free on YouTube at the moment. Like, I mean, it's kind of a touchy subject, but uh, uh, the the fat hobbits in it, Samwise Gamgee, uh, the the kid from Star Trek, can't think of his name either. Oh, Sean Astin, Samwise Gamgee. I should have wrote all their. I didn't think I need their fucking names though. I, I thought, no, but I didn't. But I can always add to them later. Yeah, all right. I heard you so, say blueberry waffle with your Bob Ross shirt on. I was like. <laughs> I'd eat that huh? bitch. Hell yeah, I would love it. Thank you. I thought she was asking you. Dude, I, I, do. I heard her say blueberry waffle. My ears perked up. You got to eat for that shit, bro. I'm telling you. What's up, Becca, Mike, Vicker, George, Creek? All right, these five are honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Amos and Andrew. You ever seen that? No. It's based on an old TV show, Amos and Andrew. I think it's uh, two black dudes. It's kind of like the step and fetch it thing. It's not good. But they redid it in the 90s with Nicolas Cage and Samuel L. Jackson. What I really love about this movie is, and I'm sure you don't give a fuck, what? I think this is the one where they're like, um, they uh, are like, Escape from like jail or something, and they're handcuffed together. Nicholas Cage, uh, Nicholas Cage escapes from jail. He uh, and uh, Samuel Jackson's playing like a rich, affluent black man that just moved into this new all white neighborhood, and they assume that he's the thief, and all kinds of hilarious shit unfolds. But what I really love about it, and what we're probably going to talk about in the weeks to come, is uh, Nicholas Cage's hairline in that movie. It is absolutely beautiful. You could tell that it's like Dale, Donald Trump flipped over all to the side. Like they're shooting it in weird ways. And Samuel L. Jackson's hairline, no good. This is when he's like, he hasn't decided to go fully bald yet. Like they're kind of showing the half. And that makes me think of like Macho Man Randy Savage. His hairline was terrible. Hulk Hogan's hairline was terrible. A lot of wrestling hairlines were terrible. I'm really into that. I'm, I'm going bald, but it's just like the balls on these dudes. It's still like I could walk around like that. Like, dude, I was at work before you just like get off subject. No, no, you're good. This guy came in, and everybody knows I've been gray like forever, right? Guy comes in and starts talking shit. He's like, um, so you sure you got like gray hair there? I was like, yeah, but at least I'm not bald. And like, my head's down. I'm like signing this invoice, right? He's bald. And I turn around, and the dude fucking bald. He says, you know, it's really fucked up that you said that I'm bald. I was like, I have gray hair. Dude. Hey, I have gray hair. And you open your fucking mouth and say some shit, bitch. So be prepared to do, like what comes out of mine. I'm almost positive I've told this story on these podcasts before, but I'm walking across the street, 21 years old, with my boss at the time. Hey, Keenan, how old are you, man? 21, sir. Damn, hard living, huh, son? Fucking 21, bro. What are we? What are you talking about here, man? Like, dang, that's, dude. That's, bust, that's ball bluffing right there. 
Hard living, huh, son? Yeah, no, but I, great. I guess when you have a, a wife and a daughter when you're 19, yeah. George G's wanted to know what's the name of that movie. Amos and Andrew, the one that we just talked about. Amos, Amos and, Andrew. and Andrew. Nicholas Cage, Samuel L. Jackson, free on YouTube right now. Look for the link. We got a playlist. You can follow our link. It's in there. Follow the link. Cannonball Run oh, 2. Thank you so much. I would love a waffle. This is waffle now. Thank you. I would love one. Um, Cannonball Run 2. I think, I think, I think it's like, it's like over, uh, about the, like, Cannonball Race actual, but I don't remember who's in 2. Well, okay, well, the, I think the same people in, there's Cannonball Run 1. That's available for free on YouTube, but you gotta find it. It's not legally available for free on YouTube, but it's there for free on YouTube because they drug Farrah Fawcett and drag her across country. And somehow Burt Reynolds still has sex with her. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But <clears throat> then Cannonball Run Two has been available for free on YouTube since I started noticing they had free movies on YouTube. And this one's uh, Burt Reynolds, uh, Dom DeLuise, uh, Shirley MacLaine, and uh, who was that? Uh, Mary Lou Henner. I can't believe I can remember her name, but I can't remember and Mary Lou Henner from Taxi. Shirley MacLaine and Mary Lou Henner looking supremely sexy in this movie. I don't know what they did, but I've never Definitely seen. Her, like still like young and fine. Yeah, but st- this is around the time when Mary Lou Henner was doing taxes. Like she was a pretty woman, but she definitely wasn't like, oh shit, Mary Lou Henner's fine. I sure I saw Shirley MacLaine at that time in other movies, but I was never like, oh crap, Shirley MacLaine is fine. They had to downplay it. That's right. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, the Cannonball Run two. Those women are looking hot to try. Uh, Frank Sinatra's in it. Sammy Davis Jr.'s in it. Dean Martin's in it. Uh, I think Jackie Chan makes an appearance. He's in it, but he doesn't speak. He speaks. I think they they claim that he's from Japan, but he doesn't know any Japanese, so he's speaking Mandarin Chinese the entire time. But that's it. so. But they dub it like as his Japanese. Like it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. George G. says and Johnny Ke- Johnny Carson in that movie too. Is Johnny Carson in that movie? See, you learn something new every day. Maybe I'm gonna have to rewatch me. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Uh, Lords of Flatbush. You ever seen Lords of Flatbush? No, we didn't. She offered uh, waffles. We didn't order anything. We're again, bro. We're begging for money on TikTok right now. So you want to you want to call us out? Thank you. Let's look. We're begging over here. We're we're at the dollar. We're, challenge, dollar. we're challenging our our, our uh, if you could our ask. Viewers. If you could ask for less less money on Cash App or Venmo, we would. But you have to at least send a dollar. Yeah, and we haven't had any Cash App alert, so nobody sent us a dollar. So we may have to wash dishes for these waffles. I'm just going to roll I'll out of here. If y'all motherfuckers going to stop me, let's go. So, y'all gonna call the no, it's going to be a bad time if y'all want to call the cops. Like I'll wait out. I'll be like, okay, guys, what's up? Who's there? It's not going to like you tonight. That's all right. I'm Mexican. I'll wash the dishes. We're good. I ain't tripping. I think it's funny if y'all call the cops, so I'll take the blame. Call the cops. Let's do it. Uh, Lord of Flatbush. You ever seen that? No. It's got uh, Sylvester Stallone in it, uh, the Fonz in it, and there's the, the Italian dude from Porky's in it. And they're they're walking around like they're doo-wops, 50s. They're supposed to be like Badasses. Yeah, there's, it, but it's like research. Oh, but it's just like it's like they what the outside what they like they read the book The Outsiders and they're like okay we're just gonna do this but and I mean Sylvester they're just playing so and Henry Winkler is Jewish right like I'm almost positive he's Jewish and I think so I mean he's playing he's playing very very like Super Mario Brothers attack <laughs> it's kind of funny and yeah so I mean but I. It's an honorable mention. I want to enforce it. Uh, Just Friends, which I mentioned before, I think we've talked about. You ever seen Just Friends? Was that the Justin Timberlake meet uh, Mila Kunis movie? No, that's Friends with Benefits. I have no fucking life. Um, no, Just Friends. How do you know that? I don't know, bro. Huh? How, How do you know that? Because... Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher were both in the Friends with Benefits type of movie at the same time, and now they're both married. Mila Kunis was Justin Timberlake, and 
I think I think his was with Cameron Diaz, maybe. I'm not for sure. But I'm just a lame entertainment nerd, dude. And my girl can't can't recognize the, the song The Breakfast Club when I raise my Dead. And when I say, when I mention Black Panther, she thinks I'm talking about, she thought I was talking about the actual Black Panther party. When she found out it was, no, it's a superhero movie. It's like, what the? Because I told her, I was like, oh, I've already seen it. She said, wait, you already watched it? I was like, yeah, I watch all superhero movies without So, it. yeah, bitch, Wakanda forever. She I didn't watch it for a year, just out of spite. And now she, she loves that movie. Uh, George, we're central, man. We're in the style. Just Friends is Ryan Reynolds. He dresses up in a fat suit. And he at the beginning of the movie, he dresses up in a fat suit. And he has a crush on a girl. And he's afraid to tell her that he likes her. So me being a fat kid, like I never wanted to have that moment. I made sure that my feelings and what I was known, clear and concise. And I know the first of the... I, um, you would know her. Well, you can say her name yeah, later. We'll call her but, Jane. But I remember we had that just friends moment, and she told me, like, yeah, that's never going to fucking happen to me in my life. No. Your brother actually dated her. I remember, yeah. Because after she told me she said, like, he's like, I was like, yeah, I remember I was like, I've never had that just friends moment again. Now, fuck that. I remember that shit. The faculty, like, you have to have seen the faculty again. Elijah Wood, like nineties horror, the faculty. Oh yeah. Fucking I love that. It's free. I remember that movie because my girlfriend at the time, she was like was on to scary movies and I was like one of the like the blockbuster movies of the summer. Was it a blockbuster movie? Because I remember it playing it. Was, like, they was like built up to be like a big movie. But I don't think it, it did because it, 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 was, it, it was played like a, nonstop on cable. Nonstop. It like it just it tanked as a theater as a theater, bro. I remember that movie almost. I remember the hot girl snorting up the thing, and she couldn't. They were he was selling like Sudafed and like. I remember that movie. All right, these are uh, Saturday Night Live people. Almost two euros. Chris Farley, Matthew Perry. Ever see that one? No. He go. He they they're competing with. Uh, what's the uh, what's the people that searched the America first Sacagawea uh, Lewis and Clark Shit. they were competing with Lewis and Clark Chris Farley and Matthew Perry oh uh, was it like upriver or something like that? what I'd like to know is this, this was like during Matthew Perry's like big drug addiction time but he claims him and Chris Farley never did anything together but I could imagine those two like going hard like but also, you don't want to tell them, like, when you're, like, really drug addicted, you want to tell them, like, hey, man, I'm, you know, you don't let on to people that shit. I don't do drugs. Drugs do me. Nothing but trouble. Chevy Chase, John Candy, Demi Moore. I think so. Dan Aykroyd. It's hard to explain. They get caught in, a, like, oil town where they went bust, and now it's Nothing but broke people, and he, he kills people for shit. I don't know, dude. I, I can't even. You can't even explain. I don't know how you could synopsize that movie or tell something about that movie. Like that shit's crazy. Sounds crazy. Strange Brew. No. Spud and or Spud and Bud McKenzie, the Canadian guy, the McKenzie brothers from SCTV. Uh, they literally they drank nothing but beer and they used to their big thing was drinking beer. It was literally Rick Moranis Moranis, if I can say his name correctly. And Dave Thomas. It was like the only movie ever made from that shit. And uh Going Overboard with Adam Sandler. His first movie ever made. Nope. His worst movie ever made. It's it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Him and a bunch of hot chicks get on a cruise boat, and they tried the whole movie. It's him explaining that shit. And then last but not least, 13 Days. Have you ever seen 13 Days? I don't think so. This is one that I'm going to like strongly recommend you watch. Really? It's uh, 
13 Days. It's got, uh, what's his name? Harrison Ford. No, uh, Kevin Costner. And uh, they, it's John F. Kennedy during the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. But Kevin Costner doesn't play John F. Kennedy. He plays, like, the president's secretary or some shit. It's, like, super fucking interesting. Really fucking good. It's, like, it makes those 13 days, like, nothing about him having sex with Marilyn Monroe. And it's really fucking good. And it played at the movie theater when I worked at the movie theater. So, oh, it was in my mind. That actually sounds like a pretty good movie. It's really fun, good. Now let me enjoy my fucking waffle in peace. Go for it. I'm joking. Well, we got how many people are watching us over there? Well, I don't know, but they said uh, Tumbleweed just joined. So did uh, just just Choid, looks like, and Margaret Johnson. What's up to you, everybody there? I want to say that I'm I'm very pleased that everybody that likes us is are just as broke as us. Like, we can talk about being broke as fuck and not be worried about being embarrassed about it because the people that tune into us are just as fucking broke. I know. They're like, free fire. Free fire must be pretty broke. I guess. What's up, free fire? I think it's funny when I, like, post it during the day on, like, some of our, like, polls or some shit and, like, people say, so I guess it's just a cash grab. Yeah. This is obviously a cash grab. Uh, uh, hold on. I want to clarify everything. How is it a cash grab? It's not a cash grab. One, yes, we're asking for you to help donate a dollar. No, this is a that, cash that grab. Dollar, I'm trying to grab a freaking waffle. That dollar would be used yeah. to buy some food so we can sit here and talk call about our a, stuff that you like to watch. Call okay. it a cash grab when I make over $50 on it, when it's more than just paying for Waffle House and frozen pizza. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're asking, like, Showing boobs and I'd be like, "Oh, I need a new car," and I show a new G wagon or something. That's literally the only thing that costs us money is Waffle House and frozen pizza. Everything else is just pretty much what we is what we need. Oh yeah. Well, I was afraid we'd have a waffle and not without waffles. I know, but we made it happen. That's yeah. everything. We ran through everything. Um, yeah, we did fifteen. I did the top fifteen. I planned on damn having a whole like. I mean, they're like usually we have money and there's a whole long meal in between. There's a whole club random. We got no club random this week. We don't need a club random. No, we don't need a club random. I got club random two. Yeah, I've got I want to put my hand up like this with Black Kiki because like our viewership went up because I didn't watch watch Kiki. Now you see her. Now you don't. See Kiki, what I'm saying? You take that. You get the fucking here. winner. Now you don't. I don't know why you don't have fucking TikToks just all night. Y'all could be making money and you're like TikToking it up on Waffle Up, Waffle Out. For not, real. Now you they, can't y'all, see them. They so much want, they would just look at you. They do not. See, they can't even see them. We come up with content. They don't give two shits about yeah. us. If you ask for that, I wonder how fast you'd get it. I'm not even playing. Yeah. Hey, at, anybody watching, huh? if Kiki was asking for a donation right now, how much would you give Kiki? If it was just give what you could give. No, like no, my, actually, my, big if, ass, my big ass hands in the way, so they, they may have seen you like a little glimpse, but not really. How about we do that from now on? Instead of us asking for a donate, y'all, when we come on, be like, hey, guys, we want to get some tips and get paid, so let's get these guys from Waffle House, and y'all send them some cash app, and they will tip us real quick. Yeah. Boom. Like, that, I think maybe that would work. You guys, like, hey, guys, how's it going? I'm TG. I'm their waitress tonight. I don't want to be waiting on these broke fuckers all night. So how about you be nice to me and you pay it forward. They can get they can get fat and fed and I can get a little bit of money. What the hell? Any anything over fifty bucks, Kiki gets to keep. That's fair. That's her. Uh, t- that covers our meal plus tip, right? So anything over that is fine. You might say anything? No. Shit, Kiki, you want to get on TikTok right now? Let's give it a go. You can even sit over there. You can sit over there like our scared son did the other, the other night. Yeah, um, our anonymous son. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not trying to put you on the phone. I promise. Oh, yeah. Kiki, I promise you, Kiki. No dude, no dude out there has been like, oh, that girl Kiki be sexy if her hair was done. No. Oh, her, oh. If only your hair was done. No, I'm so joking with you. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm just making jokes. 
If only her twist was to the right instead of to the left. Like they put up looking at that us. I mean, that's what we should just do. Maybe we should talk and we'll just set one of y'all right there. Like, I don't know. It's fucked up. I mean, go ahead and end it. See how many people have been watching us the entire, entire time. I bet you we've had a few hundred. Well, bye, y'all. See y'all next week. He's out waffling out. Later. It's a little power button. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh. No, not working for me, bro. You thought we were done. Ah. Uh. We gotta give these people some love. 542 man. total views. See, 542 people on the ticket shot are watching. And if no one dollar per person. 542 bucks. See, that would have been able to cover our meal, our tip, and then we could have gave the rest to our waitress. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not for sure I did. How much would that be? Like 400 and Holy shit, maybe the first time, like, shit, shut the... No, you know what? No, fuck it, I would. Like, if they were tipping, like, yeah. But oh, then, they, then they would show me that... They, and then I feel even more, even worse when I get no money asking this part. How come I never get a fucking tip? How come I never get a Venmo? Nobody cares about my frozen pizza reviews. All they care about is Kiki. She's on my damn arm. That's how much I care about Kiki. Do you love me? Do you me? love me? Are you riding? No, Drake, I don't love you like that. I like you. But I don't, I don't love, love you. you. No. Me and Kim Kardashian. Me and Mrs. Wouldn't Jones. Mess- wouldn't be messed up if she got but like, is there like a rumor that Kiki's Kim Kardashian or some shit? I just know from the outside. Well, wait, before we get off of there real quick. Yeah. What on. TV show do you hate that you keep up with that's kind of like, but maybe you don't keep up, but you, just because, like, maybe your woman watches it in the background or some shit like that, or just... Because I know mine. I'll, t- I'll tell you mine. Vanderpump Rules. What? Vanderpump Rules. My ex-wife watched every fucking season of that. Kelly has watched every season of that. It pops up on my on my Peacock now. And literally, since we're watching on different things, like, I don't... And literally, it's, it's, like, almost like... I really want to know what's going on with those motherfuckers, but I don't want to put in the time, like... If, I really just want like a YouTube at the end to give me a precise thing, but I, I hate them so much. But it's the fact that I've been with them for a fucking decade. Like Shakespeare for dummies. Yeah, and shit. I've been with them for a fucking decade, and now like I gotta care about Mister. I'm my, my age, and for some reason got so much fucking money they can't. I've never seen that shit, bro. You're fucking lucky, bro. And hey, with that, we'll see you next time, ladies. Hopefully next.